Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Zobong's channel. Today, we're going to be building the premium Bandai Gundam, the origin Jim Cannon Space Assault type. So, a lot of people don't buy this because, I don't know, they don't like it or something like that. But I, you know, I pretty like it. I, I dig it. So, I kind of want to buy this. So, here we are. So, today, we're going to review this. So, this thing right here is a pretty thin box. It's not like anything surprising or anything like that. But the box art looks pretty cool though. So, uh, I gotta say. So, okay. Well, there's nothing to look at at the box. So, let's open up the runners first. So, now here we are. So, we're gonna look at the runners. I mean, the instruction manual first. So, as you can see right here, uh, this premium band, I surprisingly, is used up every single part that's been provided. So, you know, that's pretty surprising. So, we're just gonna quickly flick through this. So, there's not much option here. There's not much weapons here. As I can see, the weapons is only a backpack cannon and a spray gun. There's no beam saber too. Wow. So no wonder why there's no people buying it because, you know, people like to mess around with weapons. They don't really like me. Uh, I don't really mind about the weapons. I just like the design. So as you can see here, oh, the origins traditional thing. A lot of decals as you can see right here. So yeah okay hmm, okay so menu's done so let's look at the runners so we have two e runners so as you can see right here we have two e runners so let's just take one to say it so we have the legs part here we have the shoulders and then we have the we have the shoulders here we have the torso here and then we have the legs here as well so these two here i think is the hands all right, next up we have a B runner. So the B runner, let's take a look at it. So we can see this is the feet part, legs part, uh, arms part, and then torso part, head parts. So this is another B runner. So that's pretty much exactly the same like the, as the last runner. So this is the A runner. Surprisingly, the A runner in this kit is not as colorful as the others because you know A runner is very famous of um, being very colorful, and this one right here we just have the hand the arms part the forearms part here and then we have a head and then of course we have the clear piece of head next up we have this part right here i believe this is the oh this is the the heat radiation fence at the torso next up what do we got we have two f2 runners so they're exactly the same so let's just choose one so as we can see as we can see here i don't know why my camera isn't focusing come on so as you can see right here, we can see that these are the torso parts, I think. Oh, this is a thruster. This is the, I don't know what is it, this side skirt. This is the inner joint of the arms. This is the inner joint of, I don't know which part is this, but this is side skirt. This is the, the inner frame of the legs. And then we have two, well, the other two runners. So here we are, we have a, the runner so we can see that this is the feet parts we have the waist part here all the way here and then we have that with the torso part here is a customized torso part right here as you can see and then we have I don't know which part is this oh this is the backpack part of the warehouse this is the backpack cannon this is the backpack and then we can see this one right here I don't really know this too so lastly, we're up to the last runner. So the last runner here, the C runner, we can see that it's all kind of in the frames. We have a lot of, we have not really a lot. Uh, we have three hands option. We have the left, uh, the left and right normal weapon holding hand. And then we have the trigger hand right here. This is definitely the legs. This is the spray gun. This is the part of the legs as well. This is the, I don't know. This is the legs joint. I think this is the legs joint. This is the feet. Then this is the arms with the arms again, arms, and then the hand piece here, the hand armor piece here. And this one is for the connector between the head. And then lastly, we have the poly caps and, and, and we have two stickers. So I got a little bingo here just to let you know that I, my decal got a little bit of problem. For some reason, when I open it, it's already tilted. 
can you see it here can you see the marks here it's already damaged for some reason i got a little ping i got a little bingo in this um box so i don't know i don't know whether it affected the stickers or not so we'll see it later at the review and then next up we have a we have the stickers right here so as you can see here it's for the head and then we have for I don't know which two it does and then it seems like at the front the front of the waist needed this little piece of sticker to do some coloring so yeah so you know that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys at review Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Jim Cannon Space Assault Type. So this is the finishing product of it. It's a pretty small kit, I know. It's like, um, you know, I kind of understand why most of the people don't buy this kit because this kit like contains nothing. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually have to say it. All they gave you is a backpack cannon and a spray gun at the side. They don't really provide you anything else. So I can understand why most of, most majority of the people will not buy this because, you know, they like to mess around with weapons instead of having a very bland mobile suit and they don't give you option hands as well so it makes you very hard to pose around you don't have open hand you don't have fist hand it's very hard for you to pose around so i understand why most majority of people don't like it and yeah that's 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 basically it but i kind of feel like the color scheme i kind of like it i mean the red the red mixed with a little bit of gray a little bit of white i think it looks absolutely amazing but uh here's the thing that uh, the origin stickers always have a problem where it's gonna constantly popping out so right now at the moment i don't see this problem except for the head sticker right here so yeah let's just hope the other part will not fall out at the moment now let's take a close look to the head this piece of sticker right here is where it's gonna be always popping out because I don't know uh, if you guys been watching my reviews. I always complain that Origin series stickers always have a problem where um the sticker have to turn around at the corners and they don't stick well and they will cause a problem where it's going to be constantly f uh, popping out. So this is a pretty standard gym head instead, uh, but this time we have two antennas at the back. Um, overall, the stickers on it is pretty fine except for this head sticker. This head sticker right here is horrible. Uh, it's going to be constantly popping out. So the head can lift up and lift down and move front and back as well uh it cannot turn it can turn slightly because the back the cannon is actually in the way so basically your head articulation is gone so now we're gonna look at the torso this time the torso have um two different designs so this side right here is a normal gym uh heat radiation vents this side right here is mounted on a backpack cannon so <clears throat> this time it's going to be a little bit imbalanced and this torso, the cockpit piece here is a sticker, is a large gray sticker over on it. So, I mean, it's pretty fine as long as it's stick on it and doesn't fall off. I mean, it's pretty fine. And I gotta say that the de the marking sticker has actually changed the torso feeling because, you know, when I finished the thing and then I actually didn't have any decals on it, it looks boring, it looks bland and it don't have really have a lot of details but when the stickers were on it as you can see right here now the head stickers is popping out again so if you add more stickers on it it looks like a bit more detail is like and it's not as boring as a normal gym torso so i think that feature is pretty good the gym torso inside have a joint where it allow you to bend the gym pretty fine uh, it can also move 360 freely because there's absolutely no interruption at all now let's look at the arms the arms uh is as i as i always said i don't know i know this is like the original setting but uh i always don't like this kind of shoulder because this shoulder looks too small and it looks weird but anyway we just have to accept it so this time it, the arms can absolutely move it they can move up and then you know bend it around we have no hand option and um this hand piece right here is pretty easy to pop out so just be careful when you move it and you know and you know the, um this time the arms do have something surprise me. The sticker doesn't fell off. Uh -huh. The stickers on the arms wrapped around here doesn't fell off. So I feel like that that part uh, is improved and I'm very happy about that. Uh, the only thing that you can get is a trigger hand on the other side and with a spray gun on it. The spray gun have a little clip here, but I don't see anywhere else on this gym cannon you can store this. Um, so 
this is going to be a handheld weapon for from now on let's take a look at the waist so uh the front of the waist this piece here is a sticker well it doesn't really stick well because it's very hard for me to push down so you know it works it works normally so all the part all the waist part here is um can be moved but the side skirt here um they have a poly cap in it it's movable but is actually not movable if you know what i'm saying uh turn it to the back we can see that there's uh some decals here and i have something to complain bandai designed this sticker and they didn't realize that this part right here doesn't can't let the sticker to go in and you will have some condition where the sticker flipped up so it looks kind of ugly i must say that now 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 down to the legs um i think you guys saw this kind of leg like a hundred times because i did build a lot of gyms and i you probably saw this kind of leg like a hundred times so the legs can kick to the front can not really kick to the back not really to the side and then you know bend on a pretty good angle and we also have the decals at the side here this time the leg decals doesn't you know fell off um so i i'm really i really say that uh, i'm really impressed this time and then we have this little piece of armor here it is a ball joint but this time it's not as easy to fell off as the others this time it's pretty tight so and very limited movement so it's not easy to fell off the, the legs that i mean the feet down here is uh, movable as well because it's a ball joint separately so you can move you can adjust it so overall the legs movement i would say that it's a pretty average movement it's not like really surprising or something like that oh by the way a quick fyi i take off the sticker on the head because it's giving me anxiety and i seriously can't deal with it anymore so i just take it off yeah now my now my life feel better okay okay we uh up to the backpack the backpack not really much decals these two thrusters here is a ball joint so it's movable and you can adjust it it can move around pretty firmly as well so the main point of this p bandai is this cannon right here this cannon right here is not really special it's just three pieces snapping together uh but the decals on it uh amazingly this kind of wrap around details actually stick on it so in there we have a small joint in there so it allow you to move the cannon and that's pretty much it uh while well, looking on it there's actually not much detail on the cannon anyway so like if you ask me is this p band i worth to buy i will just tell you depends on you you like the gym series or not that's up to you okay guys this is the end of the video there's not much to talk about this gym seriously and i did forgot to tell you that this little piece uh, up at the shoulders can actually move and the whole hand can actually move to the front as well I forgot to tell you that that's my mistake uh, but that's not but that's not really like a very important thing anyway so you know this gym cannon space type it doesn't really have much to talk about and it doesn't have really much accessory for you to mess around uh, I have a difficult time to you know think of a pose to give it to it because considering the fact the head is literally immovable and you know, if you ask me, is it worth it to buy? It really depends on you. I mean, there's still new things in this kit, but if it's re if you ask me if is it if it's like worth it to buy or not, it's very hard for me to judge. Like, depends on how much you love mass production type MS, how much you love the gym series. If you have enough love, I'm sure you're gonna get it. If you if you don't really like it, I suggest you don't okay because there's not much there's not much explosive stuff in this p-band dive it's not gonna like blow your like blow your mind away or something like that so really depends on you and this p-band dive in my knowledge is pretty expensive too because no because it's very hard to find so really depends on you you like the gym series you can buy it if you have budget you don't like it skip it that's pretty much it thank you for watching leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel make sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything i will see you guys in the next review goodbye